With Parkinson's disease is known for its linkage to neurological damage in the brain, but a new study has something different to tell. It suggests that the disease starts in an unexpected part of the body, and it's the kidneys. Parkinson's, which is a progressive neurological disease, affects movement, coordination and a range of non-motor functions. And the researchers now have found out that a key protein involved in the development of this disorder called the al alpha synuclein can build up in the kidneys and travel to the brain through the nerve pathways, which triggers it further. The probability of this happening more is when kidney function is impaired and the most recognizable symptoms include tremors, muscle rigidity, slowness of movement and postural instability. But Parkinson's is not limited to movement difficulties. Many patients also experience mood disorders, cognitive decline, sleep disturbances and digestive issues. Now the findings also suggest that chronic kidney disease may increase the risk of Parkinson's by allowing toxic protein deposits to accumulate and spread into the central nervous system. It also builds on the idea by turning attention to the kidneys, suggesting that they may be, there may be an overlooked point of origin for this disease process, particularly in people with poorly functioning kidneys. Now, there are also some limitations to the study. It does not clarify whether the accumulation of the alpha synuclein protein plays a role in all cases of Parkinson's disease. The hypothesis backed by animal tests and human body is way more complex to reach a conclusion.